Good morning, America, and good morning, whomever, wherever you are on this big planet. This is Dr. Cherry. One more time, I want to thank every one of you for watching this video and uh, enjoying my cosmic teaching. And most of all, I want to thank you for your support. All right, so today's newsletter is uh, titled Dr. Forces versus Dr. Cherry, and of course, a, um, a special warning memo for that nasty SOS to the world plutonic window upcoming on the 27th. And uh, I'm going to be again uh, servicing the world. I'm going to be driving. I'll be in the other side of the United States uh, in a few hours. So I may not be able to update uh, this newsletter with. Uh, all the tragic, the amazing, deadly news I'm expecting uh, on the 27th and, and after that. So first, um, I'm gonna be uh, on radio with Jim Carroll, Beating the Odds. Jim is a good friend of mine. Well, we used to go out in Vegas with Gary Busey and other celebrities. You've got the pictures in the newsletter. So this guy is absolutely magic. He's got a memory of an elephant. There is no words to really uh, describe him and his gifts. But he's, you know, like every one of us, we have gifts and he found his niche, like I found mine, okay? And the reason for me to do readings when you face me on Skype or Zoom is to point out those gifts. Because every one of us is gift, but they're sleeping, they're dormant in you. The idea is to wake them up and find out where they are. And this is what astrology is all about. So we're going to discuss the human mind. We're going to discuss the superconscious. And uh, once the show is done, of course, I, I will uh, offer you the link so you can enjoy our, our conversation. It's going to be a really, really far-fetched, well ahead of time type of show that I love. So that is uh, cooking. All right, I will do that show tomorrow, so before taking off. So let's go back now and talk about Dr. Fossey's. First of all, he's a Capricorn, okay? Slowly but surely, he has to claim the mountain of success. Capricorn, of course, rules politics. Capricorn rules anything and everything that dwell with the snob, the rich people who have a, a, a accomplishment, the, uh, the president, uh, the royal Capricorn rules large corporation, Capricorn rules the Illuminati. Um, it's a very, very interesting sign. And Capricorn is a fish tail, which means uh, they cannot plan in life just using the regular human calendar. They have to use that fish tail and respect some cosmic rules. That's what I teach. Um, before going deeper into his chart, let me remind you a few things. Last couple of years, the tail of the dragon was in Capricorn. So, see what happened with England, Brexit. What happened with the royal splitting? What happened with large corporation? What happened with politics and your president being impeached? Capricorn was also old people. People who never die, like in England, spend many years there studying music. So the reason why uh, a lot of old people are dying is, or did die, is mostly due to that negative Saturn curse in the world, which was, of course, manipulated by the reptilians who stimulated the mind of our scientists to by accident, you know, creates the COVID-19. So now that you understand the world of Capricorn, to a certain extent, there is much more to discuss if you were born in January, or if you have the moon in Capricorn, or the rising, or the natal, or hidden dragon in Capricorn, there is a tremendous amount of information that you should digest. Um, so Dr. Fossey is a Capricorn, and you wonder why he's in politics? No. I don't, okay. With the head and the tail of the dragon literally on himself, uh, that's why he's on top of the mountain, okay. Now, if you look at this chart, I have his chart in the, uh, in the newsletter that has been printed for you. And I use modern astrology this time because I don't want to confuse people who have been uh, learning this uh, rational methodology. 
So you can see the goat here, okay? Now the head of the dragon happens to be on his 10th house of Korea. You see, that's the head of the dragon right here, the male. That's the female, the tail. So with the head of the dragon in his career, in his 10th house of Korea, there is no surprise why Dr. Fozzi is, is all over the world, okay? Now, in his career, he's Libra, which means he must maintain balance and harmony and respect the laws. This is why a lot of Capricorn are into politics. Capricorn rules the sign of politics. You have to be diplomatic in order to succeed if you want to be a uh, very uh, pro-efficient uh, politician. And then if you go into the six hours of work and service to the world, you will see that Dr. Fossey in this house happens to be a Gemini, okay? And Gemini rules communication, writing, talking, traveling around. And that's why you see him talking in his six hours of service to the world. He is a messenger of the gods. Now, if you look at his uh, uh, fifth hours, which is speculation, all this speculation and the FIFA is controlled by uh, uh, Taurus, which is a very, very earthy sign. He's got Jupiter, which is traditional education. He's got Saturn, which is the career. And he's got Uranus, which is television, uh, which involves also technology. So you can see those three long lasting, very powerful planets are in the sign of Taurus, which makes Dr. Fossey a traditionally educated scientist, which probably would laugh his head off if I introduce or mention uh, forensic astrology or even the word astrology. This is what you call a very educated, rational, down-to-earth soul because his UCI or his unique celestial identity is very earthy, down to earth. That's why he is that way. Okay, so... There's much more to discuss about his connection with our president, but for the time being, this is what I want to mention. Most of all, he was born with the moon in Scorpio. <laughs> and believe me, when you have the moon in Scorpio, nobody is going to tell you what to do. Absolutely not. He's very fixed. He knows what he's talking about. Okay. And like me, he does agree, okay, that... Um, Okay, a vaccine may or may not work. The, the fact of the matter, a vaccine will never work. It never did and it never will. So, or, but he is uh, uh, in the front line. He's on TV, national TV all over the place. So he cannot exactly tell you the truth. And he's biting his tongue with the moon in Scorpio to tell you as it is. Well, guess what? You're all going to get infected and this virus is there to stay. And there is no, no thing at all that will fix it. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I've been telling you since the get-go. It's going to get worse, especially when Pluto gets into the wild dance of evil in the few months to come. So it's either you can handle the truth or you cannot handle the truth. If you want to deal with life and see life through rose-colored glasses uh, and believe that Jesus or well, Elvis is going to come back and save you, but good for you. But if you're real and you make a real prediction and you say the truth and you see the truth, then deal with me. If not, go and watch the Kardashian. All right. So now we understand a little bit more of Dr. Fossey's stars. Again, they are in the newsletter. So go and check it out and um, enjoy it. Uh, I can't, there is so much more to mention about Dr. Fossey's, but that's what it is. But what, what really um, troubles me is there is so much, so much money. You're talking about trillions of dollars that are going to be invested. And who is going to benefit? The scientist, the doctor, the pharmaceutical corporation, because you're scared to death. And you really, really believe that a vaccine is going to save you. So you could see how urgent it is for the pharmaceutical corporations to produce that vaccine and make the billions. Again, I repeat myself, my good friends, it's all about peseta and tapping on your fears. Why don't they instead educate you on how to build your immune system is mind-boggling to me. 
you need to build your immune system. Your immune system is magical. That it, it involves the spark of God. Okay. In fact, when you get coronavirus, you develop your own antibody. So getting the disease, uh, I'm not saying is a good thing, but somewhere or somehow is, this is what nature is designed to do. You get it, you beat it, or you go. As simple as that. Now, what I would recommend instead of awaiting this miracle thing that will poison you and make you much more vulnerable, use this. Okay, look, every single day, I put two or three drops of this beautiful oregano oil in my tea or in the water. This, if you read the priority of this product, something that was used by Nostradamus when he fought the plague, you will understand why you need to have that. Now, add to it, you have so many supplements so many, so many vitamin and zinc and all the, the, the priority that those beautiful supplements are designed to accomplish. Stay on that side, build your immune system, eat, exercise. I'm 70 years old and I'm still running around. I'm still moving pieces of equipment. I'm still doing all sorts of things. If you're not active, you are going to die. You got to move. And you must of all, you need also um, to be cautious of what you ingest. I have a universal blood transfusion. You can click on the link. You can read about the universal blood transfusion and then improve your immune system. That's the only thing that you really have. This is what God gave you. Most of all, most of all, before before anything and everything, your attitude is critical. Remember, magnet will attract a piece of wood, my friends. Be positive. Do not believe you're going to die. You are going to die anyway. It's just a matter of time. And nobody came back from death. It means maybe it's a better place than here for sure. Okay? So... Your attitude towards death, your attitude towards your health, your attitude towards life and others is critical not to attract your reptilians because those entities have a, a lot of fun to create the virus and now to create what you believe is the solution or a vaccine that would never work. All right. Now, um, this newsletter is also involving uh, conspiratorial work. Of course, my good friend, David Icke, um, who was chosen by the ETs to own a position of power so it can infect more and more people with fears. Uh, born in April, like all of souls born in April, he, ha he is a health fanatic and he has a lot of problem when it comes to money, to power, to government and trusting. That is his stars. So if you are a follower of David Icke, like my good wife, <laughs> Taranya, uh, chances are you will vibrate at this cosmic speed. Uh, you may have the same sun sign, the same moon sign, the same rising, the same dragon, natal or hidden. And of course you will endorse his fear okay and that will propagate like a cancer which is totally and completely against the law of what i teach this is why a lot of people think well he doesn't like david their excuse oh he's jealous or god knows what no my friend no my motivation is to help this world to become a better safer place to be for you and your children because if you look around you it's a nightmare and it's going to get much worse. And I hate telling you that. But this is why I gave you the date of the, 20, of the 27th. Okay? Uh, 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 the, the date of the 27th was given to you um, a few days ago. In fact, uh, it was uh, on July the 18th that I wrote SOS to the world, deadly window, July 27th, you have been warned. So today we're out the 25th, we are two days 
away from this window and believe me it's already in action even though that the newsletter was published on the 18th all my vips on the cosmic code and our great patreon supporters got all the information on july the 6th with those dates so the quatrain is very clear it's a plutonic quatrain remember Pluto is uh, the planet chosen by the reptilians as a base, who, and those entities live in dark matter, black matter, whatever the scientists call, which do not understand. It is through this matter that those entities uh, send you pulse that gets into your head because they actually live in you. So the quatrain is... Uh, hidden secret sex money comes to light raw power challenges police deadly villain be careful that's the one ugly faces of death drama horror surface in nature of man's religion bloody folly rain so the key words are as always russia famous deaths dramatic news police news police brutality fbi cia secret irs super well sex porn prostitution life and death serial killer morbid news undeleted truth wake up calls and so forth it's an extremely extremely powerful sos to the world and in the next few days you're going to realize why you have put your trust in dr cherry so this window is already in action because, uh, again, the reptilians use all those cosmic winds, which is related to our dense physical world, to also influence the weather. And as it is right now, two hurricanes will impact two different U.S. states this weekend, dead on my window. So... It says Smologist Institute in Pasadena doesn't pay attention to my earthquake predictions. NOAA doesn't care or laugh about astrology. And by the time they tell you, oh, you know, they're going to be an earthquake, it's too late. The needle is moving. <laughs> the good news when it comes to a hurricane, the satellite is giving you enough warning to get your butt out of the way. But, you know, you don't know better. So you have to make plans to be somewhere doing this. SOS to the world window. You ain't gonna go there. And if you go there, you're gonna get killed. So you waste the time and you waste the money. Don't you think it's worth it to join the cosmic code and being prepared at the very beginning of the month if you have a plan or a trip to go somewhere so you don't get killed? You don't waste your time or your money. All right, so be ready for those uh, a hurricane and you see the damage. Black Milita, other groups to descend on Kentucky to protest Breonna Taylor death. Okay, so when I said um, raw power challenges police deadly villain, and now you're talking about the nasty negative element of our society who regenerate with fear, drama, chaos. Uh, who, who are imposing their negative will and responding to the reptilian infestation they are cursed with. So, during that window, stay home. Do not become part of the statistics because you don't know. But sad enough, 99.9 .9 of the people watching my video uh, are aware. But 99.9% .9 of the world is not watching my video, especially if you don't share them to your friends, to anybody else. So a lot of people won't make it, won't make that window. So be warned, Black Milita, my quatrain is dead on. Be ready for the nasty result. What else do we have? Feds clash with Portland protesters. Yesterday, I believe, that tells you that window is now alive. Feds, FBI, police, reptilians, what a soup, what a dance of evil. And all I can do is to warn you of this energy because life is a constant process of changes and the news always repeat themselves. During those windows, you have to be more cautious than usual, who pay the price of your cosmic ignorance and die. Gabrielle Austin left and Javier Ezel, both at 18, face a multiple charge in connection with the death of an Arizona State University engineering professor. There goes those two kids. 
one black dude and one white woman, both of them infected. They don't have no education. They are high on drugs. They are completely reptilian infected, completely oblivious. They are robots responding to those entities which is activating their brain. And there you go. Once upon the time, those two killers were actually innocent, beautiful child. But nobody was there to educate them on the power of the stars upon their psyche, which can and will be manipulated by the reptilians. In the name of science and religion, those young, beautiful, innocent children turns into killers. Amen. Oh, yes. Ohio police released a surveillance video of suspects who killed sleeping toddler injuring twin brothers. When I watched that video, I was sick. It was two infected idiots. Goes around the house and start to shoot. The reasons are endless. Drugs. You owe me money. I hate you. God knows what. Meantime, a kid is dead and his brother is fighting for his life. That's the world you live in, my friends. And it's going to get much worse if you don't help me. And I don't have fun telling you this. One year old killed, three of those shot at a cookout in New York City. You can't even have your own freaking cookout in that state, in that city, being, you know, without taking a chance of being killed. It's all infected, and it starts right from the top. It starts from your politician, from your president, right at the top. So how can the bottom of the pyramid be safe when cosmic ignorance and when science and religion control all sorts of information? Oh, no. <laughs> UFOs. Oh, no. Astrology. Sort of science. My friend. You go against the rules imposed by God through his cosmic design and you see the result. That is the result of challenging God's cosmic structure. That is the result of replacing divine cosmic teaching with religion and science. And it's going to get worse. All right, what else do we have? Nine-year-old girl is the youngest to die from coronavirus in Florida. People think, oh, well, I'm going to send my uh, uh, kid to school. You know, this is all conspiracy stuff. This is not real. My friend, it is real. And it's not going to get just to you, but to your children. Thanks to the tale of the dragon in the sign of Sagittarius that curses the law, religion, education, the wildlife, and the minority. I repeat myself in my video so you understand that these are cosmic energy that are uh, being influenced is manipulated by nasty entities who can only survive in our solar system with our fears. And you constantly support and promote more fears that feed those fleas on the poor dog that we are on planet Earth. When are going to people take me seriously? I don't know. Hopefully before it's too late. Police are looking for this man who they saw threw a toddler, two years old, from moving vehicle on the freeway. Whoa, wait a minute here. You having a fight with your girlfriend or whatever the situation is, click on the link, it's live. And then you're going to throw a baby on the highway. Can you see that these people are completely infected? And I warn you in 2015, 2005 years ago, I'm the first one who mentioned be ready for a universal infestation, a universal infectation. Five years later, it's all on your face. Pretty much like I described your president fate and the fate of America a day before he got elected. Another word, everything you are seeing today, anything that's going on with the government and your president was fully predicted if you take the time to read and hopefully, if you can read English, I'm French. I'm doing all this for you in a foreign language. And all these idiots out there who challenges me can't get an, an understanding of my cosmic work if their life depends on it. Imagine if they had to do that in a foreign language. 
Another female judge found in cars linked to suspect in deadly ambush shooting. That's the second one. Remember, such charges was the law, the codification of fact, the judges. There is a red cross on those people. There is a cross on all teachers. There is a cross in all schoolmasters. There is a cross upon the head of all minority Latino people, black people, there is a cross on your head because of this dragon. And this dragon is reinforced by your president who have, was born with that dragon. And I told you a million times, when you elect a president, you know it or not, you like it or not, you will be forced to suffer his fate, to suffer his stars. And that's why a day before he got elected, I spit it all out for you. And it's coming true and has been true since then. All you got to do is click on the link and read your president's stars and fate. And don't judge me because it has nothing to do with politics. Yet, some of these idiots out there cannot detach themselves from their political view and believe that I don't, I don't like the president. I don't care if you like it or if you don't, if you support it or not. I don't care. Catch my mystical, spiritual, cosmic wisdom instead of harassing me with your political down-to-earth view. I'm way ahead of you. Bypass this physical plane. Make the most of my teaching while you can. I'm on the road every day helping people physically and spiritually. I don't know if I'm going to come back when I see all these accidents. It's crazy. At the hub, this guy back up his 53-foot trailer, didn't pay attention. His partner was between the wall and the, and the, the trailer. <laughs> He's dead. A lot, a lot of infected drivers um, in, those, in those hubs, in this fueling station and loves. They kill each other. They rob each other. They rape each other. It is not a safe job at all. And then sudden enough, those large corporations, CRST, uh, Swift, they're desperate for drivers. They don't have any drivers. So they go and get people from uh, anywhere on the planet. Those people come here, they don't speak English. Oh, wow. They even have translator when I was at school. They were translating. It's not their language. They're not refined enough, not smart enough. To, and it's all written in English everywhere you go. They just took them out to some, some of the third world country and they educate them in two or three weeks and give them the 80,000 pound truck and trailers behind them. And then they kill themselves nonstop. There's a tremendous amount of death on the road because they are desperate for drivers. So knowing that I have the experience and I'm a safe driver and I'm not stupid, I am doing it. Of course, that put a lot of stress on my work because I'm booked all the way up to next year now. So bear with me. This is not immediate satisfaction. If you order a reading, put your order while you can and then forget about it. And then in time, because the way things are, I'm stuck now. I have to help. I have to do my best to help those people that needs me. Okay, uh, I have to do that. And then I do two reading every weekend. So comes your time. That's it. And maybe somebody cannot do it or gone somewhere. So you may get a call from Tarania. Hey, you know what? There is an opening. Jump on it. So be prepared. Okay, because you put an order doesn't mean I'm going to do it tomorrow or next week. But I might do it tomorrow or next week. That's what I'm trying to say. Life is a constant process of change. So don't be impatient and then work with us. Okay. Our answer we have. An incident at Florida Air Force Base leaves one dead, another injured after domestic dispute. All right. See, even, even where you're supposed to have structure and discipline, you got people killing each other because... Uh, that wife is messing up with someone else. God knows what the excuses are. Uh, this is just getting totally, completely out of order. A climber died after falling from the dragon stair in Glacier National Park. Again, those people have no clue of their 2020 personal negative cosmic fire rhythm. They have no clue. They don't know. 
there is a nasty pretonic window. And on top of that, their negative cosmic biorhythm is tripling their chances of getting killed. And they're doing stupid things. They let their emotion takes over. No, they're in that window. Because when your emotion and feelings takes over, your logic is gone and you lose. You end up dead or in jail. Education is a key, my friend. Baptist pastor fired after transgender reveal. One of the key words is sex and secret to light. Doesn't matter if you're a religious fanatic or not. The reptilians will use uh, sex. You know, and a lot of people, uh, some people have been pretty upset about me talking about gays and lesbians, Down syndrome, ch syndrome children, autistic children. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I'm giving you the reason. A young mother doesn't know better. She party, she smoke pot, she get drunk. You know, there's plenty of kids doing this right now. Next thing you know, they end up uh, being raped or they're having sex because they're under the influence. Uh, that's a perfect, perfect ground for the reptilians to get inside that womb and start to mess up the genes because you have opened the door, okay, with... Uh, what the reptilians use all the time, and that is legal and illegal drugs. So now they go inside the womb of the young mother, they manipulate the gene, and next thing you know, you have a gay, you have a lesbian, you have a Down syndrome, an autistic child, or God knows what uh, abnormality coming on there. I'm not saying this with joy, and you shouldn't hate me for telling you this. You may have a child that way more reason for you to work harder to give a decent life to that child but understand the process don't just kill the messengers here be smart when i devote things that are well past the understanding of our traditionally educated idiot scientists what else do we have coronavirus pandemic has sparked an interest in online swinging here you go <laughs> Once the pandemic is over, they will finally meet offline for the first time and live out their fantasy together. Really? You know, the reptilians are going to use technology, porn, anything that they can to tab on the human instinct of preservation and then do sex. Sex is not nasty. God made it to feel good, so we do it often. Okay, use logic. Now, what I'm trying to tell you here, yeah, um, you're going to connect with somebody over the internet, so you may fall in love with the intellect of that person. But what about a chemistry? What about when you connect with that person physically? Now, right now, you have that protection. You have that computer. You have the distance. Chemistry is not playing no game there. It's just intellectual stimulation. But when you meet that person Ah, uh, well, it mm, doesn't happen to be the same thing. For some reason, this person is repellent. If that person is negative, is reptilious infected, depressive, abused, jealous, greedy, all those nasty energy are going to pop out in your face when you first meet with that person. And you're going to be saved if you listen to your intuition and run the other way. That's why it's important to do a, to do a comparison chart with your partner or see if, if that person has the same stars. You know, if you don't have cosmic wisdom, you're going to have a trouble. It's like, for example, Tiranya, she has her own view. She loves our president. She promoting them all over. Good for you. Hey, I am neutral on that one. And she also signed off with David Icke conspiracy. But what do you expect? She was born in April. So she vibrates at that cosmic speed. She's my wife. I love her. I respect her. She has her own mind. She has her own belief. And she has her own fears. So if, you, if I didn't have that cosmic wisdom, uh, we could have some serious trouble. I could not control my emotions. I could not control whatever I would classify it as interference in our marriage. So because I have cosmic wisdom and she's an independent, beautiful, loving woman, she has the right to do what the hell she wants. And that's the beauty of being educated. All right. Now let's look at the... This one here, scientists accidentally create a new fish. You can go and look at that fish. It looks like hell. It really looks ugly. Well, guess what? Scientists also accidentally created coronavirus. The only problem is that there are no accidents. There is only cosmic circumstances at work that science and 99.9 .9 of the people walking planet Earth 
or else are completely oblivious off. And on top of that, those uh, energies are also handled, manipulated, and directed by the reptilians, which are in your mind. So, my good friends, all I'm trying to do here is to guide you the best way I can. The reptilians will put people in power. They have no business being in power because it's just the way it is for the time being. People like uh, uh, David Icke, for example, or people that do not believe uh, in uh, uh, Sandy Hook take place or the Holocaust took place. And of course, these people are, uh, you know, sued left and right and they are fired. They cannot go talk anymore in specific countries. Um, so the reptilians put this type of people in power so they can, like a cancer, repercute their fears, regurgitate their fears. And then if you vibrate like these people, if you have the same sun sign, the same moon sign, the same rising, the same dragon or hidden dragon, or the same experiences as these people, chances are you're going to endorse their conspiratorial views. It's like all these people out there that hate the police. Who has not been stopped by the police? And it doesn't feel good when you have to pay two or three hundred dollars for a ticket. Of course, you're going to hate the cops. And if you're a young kid and it happened to you a few times in New York, well, you're going to get a baseball bat and you're going to try to, call, to kill the cops. It's all subconscious and it's all set by the reptilians. You can only relate to someone else because of your education, your intelligence, your experience, and then most of all, your stars. So, and a lot of these people in New York, gangbangers, young kids, religious or atheists, do not have cosmic consciousness. And the result is just total chaos. And it's a wonderful time for the reptilians who are going to make the situation worse. I mean, I don't know. If you want to believe people transform into a lizard, people who have money and power uh, transform into a lizard and they're going to eat your children, well, you know, that's you to believe, but you know what? Um, nobody will transform into a lizard because the lizard is already in your head. Let's go back to the rules. If you just jump in and you don't know about Dr. Turi or my perception and teaching on the reptilians, positive, negative, up and down, black and white, the front, the back, God, devil, the yin and yang, day, night. The reptilians are at work at night. That's why the criminal element comes from the dark matter, the night energy, the negativity, the killing, the oppression, dark, negative. And then you have the draconis, love, light, during the day, healing, education, integrity, spirituality. Those entities are here, okay? They are all cosmic conscious and they push you left or right. They push you on the light or in the darkness. Now, because the part of God is much stronger than those entities and your stars, your free will can be applied. No, I don't want to be negative. No, I don't want to support the darkness and end up part of the dark matter forever in inducing and promoting the evil uh, underworld. No, I want to be for love, for light, for creativity. I want to be for progress. I want to be for uh, the arts. I want to be for education. It's a choice. It's a choice that you have in you. But if nobody makes you aware of that duality, because everything is split, okay, in life. Today, I mean, two weeks, two weeks, one month, six months, six months, one year. Everything is split. Two eyes, two arms, so like symmetrical. Everything is split. You have your will to go that way or that way. But meantime, I'm telling you, my friend, regardless how desperate you may be because of the situation we are in right now because of coronavirus, a lot of lives have been destroyed. A lot of plans have been destroyed. A lot of careers have been destroyed. A lot of education. Everything is a big, huge, super mess. Okay? I want you to realize this. First of all, you're not in that mess alone. We're all in that, including me, regardless how good we are doing. I'm still into that mess with you. Do not lose hopes. Do not feed the reptilians because this is exactly what will produce this dance of evil to grow 
And definitely, we don't want to go there. We still have time. And the Drakanis cannot interfere. Remember, the Galactic Federation or Grand Cosmic Order forbidden any extraterrestrial to interfere with human affairs, regardless how connected we are with our space brother, the good ones. But, you know, there are very special occasion, special moments, special situations that require the Galactic Federation of Grand Cosmic Order to allow those entities to interfere. So regardless how nasty and negative this is going to be, at the end, the Draconis would not allow the reptilians to overtake this beautiful piece of real estate, this very, very rare piece of real estate we call Earth that they are fighting for since forever. So keep a positive attitude regardless of what is thrown at you there are forces in you that are at work okay understand that negating god cosmic design negating the power of the subconscious negating the reality of ufo and those negative entities or good entities is what contribute to create this huge chaos but that's changing the age of aquarius is kicking in that is changing slowly but surely universal cosmic consciousness is taking place in here we are finally able to vibrate our higher level and make a reality of a space brother that will be able to interact in our dense physical world so it is not all lost but there is some heavy karma for the world to pay you can only learn in this hell and you're not gonna go to hell this is it and we all learn with pain and suffering and with the emotions that cost greatly to a lot of us all right, what are we going to do today? I'd like to do a little astral tarot, a universal card. Okay, so I put it behind my head so you can say, oh, he knows the card. Okay, we're going to take this one. I don't know what that is. Okay, the queen of the mind. Okay, this is very strong, especially in women. It's a queen or the imperatrice, as we say in French. She's asking all the female to look above their heads under the cosmic structure because it looks like uh, um, this specific window will stimulate uh, uh, the feminine part of your side, even if you're a guy, okay? But we have the male and the female side. Um, to, to delegate a little bit more cosmic consciousness and regain the power, okay? So listen to your feminine side, listen to your intuition, uh, and uh, look above your head into the universal structure uh, and understand that my cosmic SOS to the world window are very real. And then uh, again, one more time. Um, good news, last time we had, uh, last month, 200,000 views on my movie, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal and well past my expectation um alien contactee movie also uh, will be translated not only in english but also in french in spanish and japanese so my message out there is getting uh is, is taking place it's, uh, it's amazing because uh, a lot of ufo co people conferences didn't want me for some reason they did not know me they don't like me or god knows what uh, and the next thing you know, I'm on Amazon Prime with 125 million people who have access to this movie that tells you that there is a high force is taking care of me. The small little UFO conference promoters don't want me, but the universe wants me for a very specific purpose. And remember, because you have a name or you are a notoriety in the UFO world, it does not mean you own the truth. The reality is 99.9 .9 of UFO researchers and UFO speakers, regardless how well-known they are, they've never seen a UFO, uh, let alone delegate a spirit called Draco from the constellation of Draco, a Draconis, not to be mixed with the Draconians, which are part of the negative group of extraterrestrials. So my good friend, this is what it is. The newsletter is there for you and it's ready. Uh, enjoy it, share it. You like me, Dr. Tree will like your work. Go to the movie, give me your feedback. I will take the time to answer you if you have a question, whatever it is. And then uh, one more time, God bless all of you. I'll be going on the road pretty soon and um, I'll be right there, hopefully safe and sound to keep educating you, my good friend.
God bless all of you and make it a beautiful weekend. I will. Bye-bye.